Hello and welcome to the session on clocks. This is brought to you by Handa Ka Fanda. First we need to figure out how many times do the minute hand and the hour hand of a clock meet, let's say in 12 hours. We know in every hour once it happens, why? Because say this is my minute hand and this is my hour hand. Say my hour, uh, right now from your angle the time would be something like 4, 10. There will be an overtake because the minute hand is faster. So that is one meeting. So between 4 o'clock and once it takes a full complete circle and 5 o'clock, there is going to be one overtake and that is going to be one meeting. In every hour, there is going to be one meeting. So in 12 hours, how many meetings will be there? Normal convention would say that there should be 12 meetings. But that is not the case. Why so? Because of the simple reason, consider the meeting at 12 o'clock. What happens? Will you count that between 11 and 12 or will you count that between 12 and 1? That is what the problem is. And that is precisely the reason why we consider only one meeting between 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. Between any other time gap, there is one meeting. Between 11 to 1, which is 2 hours, there is only one meeting. So the total number of meetings instead of 12 is reduced by 1. It is 11, as you can see here. Opposite 180 degrees. In that case, that is exactly the same as 0 degrees. Why? Because there is only one overtake. There is only one 180 degree at between any set of hours. That is from 5 to 6 there will be 180. Between 4 to 5 there will be only one 180. So that should also be 11 times. But please remember for every overtake. As you can see here. There will be a 60 degree before and there will be a 60 degree after. And that is essentially the reason. For every meeting there are two 60 degrees. There will be two 90 degrees. There will be two 40 degrees. There will be two 50 degrees. Essentially any angle and every angle will be double, will occur double number of times than 0 degree or 180 degree. And that is the reason why it happens 22 times in 12 hours. Another point so we can look at is, we know that the meeting occurs exactly at 12 o'clock. When will the next meeting occur? Uh, I can say roughly around 1-5 because that is when the overtake between 1 and 2 will happen. But that is not the case. For the exact time, you need to figure out that how many times the meeting is happening. The meeting is happening 11 times or 11 times in 720 minutes. So, per meeting, it will take how much time? 720 by 11, which is 65, 5 by 11 minutes. That means, after the first meeting at 12 o'clock, next meeting will happen at 1, 5, 5 by 11. What about the next one? The next one will happen at 2, 10, 10 by 11, which is 1, 5, 5 by 11 after the first one. Next one will be 3, 15, 15 by 11. But since 15 by 11 is more than 1, this would become 3, 16, 4 by 11. And similarly, you can figure out the rest as well. Let us figure out the speed of the minute hand and the hour hand. Speed of the minute hand, it is moving 360 degrees or one full circle in 60 minutes or in one hour. So its speed will be 6 degrees per minute. The hour hand on the other hand means one full circle in 12 hours or 12 into 60 minutes. So that is 360 by 720 or half a degree per minute. Say what will be the angle between the two hands at 1 o'clock? At 1 o'clock my clock will be shaped something like this. So one gap what will be the angle? In 12 gaps the angle is 360 degrees. So in one gap that is at 1 o'clock the angle will be 30 degrees. At 2 o'clock, it will double 60 degrees. 3 o'clock, it will be 90 degrees. 4 o'clock, it will be 120 degrees. At 7 o'clock, it will be 7 into 30 or 200. So if it is a perfect hour, as the three cases mentioned here, it is very simple to find out. You will just multiply it with 30 degrees and you will get your answer. But what are you going to do if it is 540? For that, you will need to assume a base. For 540, what uh, you know the angle at what time? You know it at 5 o'clock. At 5 o'clock, where are the hands? The, where is the R hand? R hand is at 150 degrees from the vertical. It would be something of 150 degrees from the vertical. And where is the minute hand? My minute hand is exactly at 0 degrees. What happens in the next 40 minutes? In the next 40 minutes, the minute hand will move. The hour hand will also move. 
the R hand will go to a new position and the minute hand will also go to a new position. R hand will move how much? R hand moves at half a degree per minute. So in 40 minutes it will move 40 into half or 20 degrees. The minute hand moves at the rate of 6 degrees per minute. So it will move 40 into 6 or So their final positions are going to be the R hand will be at 170 degrees and the minute hand will be at 240 degrees. The difference of those two which is 240 minus 170 that is effectively 70 degrees will give me the angle at that point. Let us say we have a wrong clock which gains 6 minutes in every hour. That is when the correct clock moves 1 hour it moves 1 hour and an extra 6 minutes. So when the correct clock goes from 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock it will go from 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock and 6 extra minutes. In 2 hours, that is from 8 to 10, it will gain 12 extra minutes or it will show 10, 12. In 4 hours, that is at 12 o'clock, it would have gained 4 hours and 24 minutes extra, that's why it will show 12, 24. Let's say in the next, uh, in the next cycle, it is at 6 o'clock. So that means it has moved a total of 10 hours and in that 10 hours, it has gained how much? In 1 hour, it gained 6 minutes, so in 10 hours, it has gained 60 minutes. So it will be 60 minutes ahead of the correct time. It will show 7 o'clock. One another question. Another question which comes up to my mind is. Will the wrong clock ever show the correct time again? Even a stop clock is right twice a day. So this is at least moving. Yes, it will. Trying to figure out when it will show the correct time again. Is when it would have gained 12 hours. You get my point. Because if it goes 1 hour ahead. It shows 7 o'clock. If it was 2 hours ahead, it would have shown 8 o'clock. If it was 3 hours ahead, it would have shown 9 o'clock. What if it is 12 hours ahead? It would have still shown 6 o'clock. It will be one complete cycle ahead, but it will show the right time. And that is the idea. So, my wrong clock right now is gaining 6 minutes every hour. And I want it to gain 720 minutes. It can gain that 720 minutes in how much time? In 120 hours. So after 120 hours, it will show the correct time again. How about a clock that was losing 6 minutes every hour? When will it show the correct time again? It will also show the correct time again after 120 hours. The fact that it was gaining or the fact it was losing doesn't matter. Because either you need to gain 120, either you need to gain 12 hours, 720 minutes, or you need to lose 12 hours or 720 minutes. That wraps up the session on clocks. Please stay tuned at Handa Kafanda to watch other videos on other chapters. Thank you.